it's going to be an engine like this. Usually you find these on older lawn tractors, such as this old Aaron's tractor here. So first I'm just going to remove the fuel tank. So here are the linkages over here. There's one with a spring and the other one does not have a spring. Now this linkage here is in the top hole of the governor arm and it goes right to the carburetor butterfly. And I'll be taking this off in a minute to show exactly where it hooks on. Now the one with the spring, which is attached in the second hole from the top on the governor arm, follows underneath the other linkage that I just showed you and goes to the mechanism here for the throttle. As you can see, it's hooked in right into this little metal lever here and there's only one hole right there. Now I'm going to take the two 5 16 bolts here to show you underneath. And before I take it off, you can see here that the throttle cable is hooked into this little lever here. I'm going to lift this up and you can see here on one side the throttle cable, on the other side is the other linkage that goes right to the governor arm and it has the spring on it. And the other linkage on the top hole here, which I told you goes to the carburetor, you can see there that it's in this hole right here. This screw here is only to adjust the idle speed of your machine. It does not adjust the fuel mixture of your carburetor at all. This is the air mixture screw of your carburetor. And the fuel mixture screw is right under here. And the small screw you see here, if you turn this in, you're going to have higher RPMs at high speed. If you turn it out, you're going to have lower RPMs with the throttle wide open. And when you put this cover back on, you want to make sure that this little metal lever here matches up with this hole here inside the choke lever. What this is for is for when you put the throttle up to the choke position over here when you go to start it, it will automatically put the choke on for you. So before I put the metal plate back on, here's one last view. Now when I put the throttle up to choke, the little lever catches the choke mechanism. And when the throttle is wide open, you can see that the spring tightens up over here. So here's one last good view. Throttle cable, the other linkage over here. It goes underneath the other linkage and attaches to the second from the top hole with the spring. And now the other linkage goes above the one with the spring, as you can see here and it attaches to the butterfly mechanism on the carburetor.